just wanted to make a very short video on my kombucha bottle. And I'm going to show you. I'm not sure if you can see that white, white layer on top. It just sunk in now because I went to taste my kombucha. But uh, there's the old scoby. I'm going to show you the old one at the bottom. Oh, I don't want to mix it. I'm making everything cloudy. But that's the new one that just grew while it was waiting for me to bottle the kombucha. So there's my new scoby. And now I'm not going to remove that scoby. It's going to stay there and it's just going to get thicker and thicker. Uh, but if you don't touch that scoby and you don't touch your, uh, your mixture, like your kombucha, say you're not in the mood of bottling and you're going to say, oh, what the hell, I'm just going to let this batch go. Uh, your scoby will get really, really thick on top. But because I'm going to bottle it, it went down to the bottom when I went to taste my kombucha. But that's okay because... This scoby is still going to do its magic when I make my new batch and I'm going to get a new scoby on top. Okay, normally I make my own juice out of fresh fruit, but because I'm in a pinch with the holidays coming, I just didn't have time to organize myself. But I do want to bottle this kombucha and I sent my husband to get me some organic fresh juice, but he came home. He says, Connie, there was none. So I said, well, just buy whatever there is. So we bought some apple juice and we bought some plain grapefruit juice. And I'm still going to use that to bottle it because it's just as good. Not as good as if you're making it yourself. Sorry. It's not as good as if you're going to make it yourself, the juice. Uh, you could use some fresh fruit if you want but because I have so much of this juice I'm just going to use it and show you how simple it is to make it even if you don't want to squeeze your own fruit or if you don't just want to put a couple of fruit pieces in your bottle because that'll give you a very light tasting almost the essence of the fruit will be in your kombucha but if you want to have a nice fruity taste kombucha you would need lots of juice for it Okay, so I'm just going to put some of my kombucha in here. It's going to be easier for me to fill up my bottles. I'm going to go get some bottles, and I'm going to show you how simple it is once your kombucha has reached your desired tartness. Uh, this has been in there for a week, a week and a day maybe, but very, very simple to do. Okay. So, like I said, I've saved my bottles when I used to buy kombucha. If I didn't have any kombucha ready for myself, uh, what I do is uh, I save the bottles and I just reuse them when I make my own. So, I've got one with these, uh, with this kind of stopper top. I also have, I'm going to show you my own that I, that I bought that weren't with kombucha in it. And then regular kombucha bottles that I, like I said, I saved those. But I'm going to show you another one. And I went out and bought these. They're just like beer bottles. And this is good because it has a dark bottle. It has, it's good because you don't want to put the kombucha out in sunlight or daylight. Uh, it's always better when it's in like a shaded area. So these bottles are great for that. The only thing is you don't get to see your beautiful kombucha in it. But I don't care. I just use whatever bottle I have and I bottle my kombucha. Now, I'm going to go get my juice that I have. Okay, so this is a type of juice my husband came home with. And, you know, rather than arguing with him, I'm just going to say, okay, no problem, I'll use it. Uh, it's just a natural apple juice that we pick up at President Choice. And, of course, uh, he brought me home an organic grapefruit juice, uh, which is got no pulp, has no sugars in it. So I'm okay with this one. Uh, like I said, it's better if I'm going to make my own, if I have my own grapefruit juice and I start squeezing. But because I'm a little on uh, a pinch with time, I'm just going to bottle and use what I have here. Just as good. Not better. Just as good. Could be better. <laughs> Could be better. <laughs> okay. So now, if I'm doing the apple, I like to put a little piece of cinnamon. I call that my apple pie kombucha. Really, really good. So, uh, basically, you want to put, now, again, this depends on how cinnamon you want, how much cinnamon you want in your, in your kombucha. Uh, if you want a little bit, all you have to do is break it in half, and you could do two bottles with that, and just a little bit of it is going to go a long way. And you want to fill your bottle about a third of the way. I'm 
try and this will give you a nice fizzy yeah, that's about a third of the way maybe a little more but that doesn't matter it's still gonna get fizzy on me now this is my second fermentation right now this juice doesn't have it's not very sweet uh, but still sweet enough I think I'm gonna just check it to make sure if I want to add oh yeah it's sweet enough so I won't even have to add the sugar to this but otherwise if you're making juice and you find your fruit isn't that sweet and your kombucha is a little too tart uh, you could put maybe a little bit of sugar at the bottom that's just gonna help give that fizz even faster so I'm just going to take some of my kombucha and put it in here make my life a little easier I'm gonna try and do this without shaking my world up there we go beautiful 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 and now I'm just going to top my bottles I just want to taste my oh god this is gonna be so good okay that's how easy it is tap this up and you have bottle number one and I call this my apple pie kombucha if you haven't tried it you have to it's just apple juice one-third way here's your bottle you want this much apple juice and the rest is going to be your fermented tea and perfect my kombucha is perfect right now oh i'm so excited can't wait to have it uh it's gonna be a, a while before i have this one because i have other bottles but yeah very easy to do here let's put one in here cinnamon stick we're gonna put some apple juice I have about a third there yeah that's about a third and the rest is going to be my kombucha I in the camera Look at that fizz guys mm, a little more and remember uh, how much Sweetness is really up to you. Some people don't like a lot of sweetness once their kombucha is done. Some people uh, like extra sweetness. That's really up to you. And there is my beautiful apple pie kombucha. Now, I also love grapefruit. Now, grapefruit, I just do plain grapefruit. I will not... Um, I will not add anything to it. I won't put any... Uh, cinnamon I just want to check this oh this one still has a little stopper and this is so good because not only are you having a very healthy I'm gonna just try this now this is very ooh, just the way I like it tart okay now this I might add some sugar to it okay so um, with the grapefruit not only do you have the benefit of the kombucha, uh, all the probiotics and everything that's in there? You also have your extra vitamin C, guys. Win-win situation, right? Okay, so I'm just going to put some sugar. And again, how much sugar is really up to you? I put about maybe a teaspoon of sugar. A teaspoon and a half but remember the kombucha is still because this is a live kombucha um, it's gonna eat up that sugar okay there's my grapefruit and if you like orange you could do it with orange oh, look at this guys I get excited over this don't mind me you're gonna say oh what do you get excited over kombucha Yes, I do. I get excited over kombucha. It's so good. And I drink it every day. There we go. I drink it every day. Oh, 
almost got carried away there. I almost filled up the bottle. But I drink kombucha every day. It's so good for you. And, you know, a lot of people say, I don't have time to make it. Then just go out and buy some. You know, it's a little more expensive to drink it every day. Oh, so good. And now I have enough kombucha at the bottom as a starter. And I'm going to show you once I'm finished with this. I might not even let you sit here and watch it. Okay. Oh, yes. What I also do, I'm going to go get it now, is my pea flower here. Okay. I'll show you what I do. I just have to find my... Here we go. Okay, here we go. I am going to show you what I do. And this I like to keep in a clear bottle because I just love looking at it. Uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of sugar. Yeah, there we go. Just a little sugar. And I'm going to add some pea flowers. I'm uh, not sure if you know what a pea flower is, but this makes your drink almost like a violet. Depends how, many, how much you put in there. If you put a little bit, you get uh, like a violet color. And if you put a lot, you get a nice purple color. And to that, I am going to add my kombucha. And this you will want to oops. okay and this you will want to take the flowers out before you drink it because there will be no more color to those flowers right now you can see the flowers in the uh in my kombucha but eventually there will be no more flowers there okay be right back and now i am gonna add Some lavender now you could either use a little flowers or you could use the leaves of the lavender nope oh, there we go and I'm gonna put a couple of drops of strawberry essence I don't have any strawberries at home but I do have the essence and this is gonna make this taste like a lavender strawberry kombucha and after a few days, this will be the color, not even a few days, in about half an hour, uh, this is already going to turn the color of like a nice violet color. So I'm going to make another one just like that. And you know what, I'm just going to put the whole bit of lavender there. I'm going to put a couple of... Whoop, pea flowers oh my cats there we go a little bit of sugar everybody thinks she's in heat she's not in heat she's just a naggy cat that wants to go into my daughter's room and she has the tiniest voice and she always sounds like she's in heat mango Okay, and that's it for my, oh, and we're going to do the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, and that's it guys, and that's going to have such a beautiful, beautiful, and this is vegan by the way, and there you go, another lavender strawberry kombucha that I am going to have for me to drink so i made one two three four five six i left a whole bunch of kombucha behind because i didn't make a big batch this time around i didn't fill up my jar my big canister set so i will leave that alone so this way i have another fast kombucha happening uh, because if you have a lot of starter and a nice scoby it will happen a lot faster 
It's just going to ferment faster. Everything's going to happen faster. I'm going to drink this drop. Mm, I love it. Okay, so that's it. Wasn't that easy? I think this is just like the easiest, easiest thing you can make. You got to try my apple, my apple pie kombucha. That is delicious. Okay, so let me just clear this off and wipe down my counter because I made a mess. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, so wasn't that easy, guys? There's what's left over. I've got at least, I'd say, about four fingers of kombucha. That is my starter. There's that beautiful scoby that was growing. You see the original scobies at the bottom? And that's a nice big chunk, but that's my new scoby. And that, like I said, this stuff just keeps growing. And I keep just putting it aside. But it just loves me and it keeps growing for me and i've had this now for 14 years i've had all the scobies that i've grown i mean i gave a lot of it away uh, but it's from the scoby that i started 14 years out of a plain plain kombucha so it's not expensive and tea you know it depends the tea some people will buy the organic tea if you want organic some people say you know what i really don't care if it's organic or not you could buy very cheap green tea I can use black tea. Uh, just don't put anything that's flavored in your kombucha. Let your kombucha be plain and do, then do whatever you have to do to your bottles. And these are my bottles right now. And this is, I've got two grapefruits right now. You can tell the color of it. I've got uh, these two that are going to turn a beautiful shade of lavender soon. Once that flower starts going and I've got my apple pie which is delicious it's got the taste of cinnamon if you don't want to use these bottles uh, get yourself some mason jars and put them in there but these two are one of my favorite I'm not sure if you could tell it's already starting to leak a little bit of that color right there I'm not sure if you can see it but all that color is going to come off the flowers. You won't even see. The flowers are not even going to have that color anymore. But there you go. Go out and start making kombucha, guys. Really, really easy. If you check my other video that I made, uh, like I said, you can start your scoby from scratch. And if, you're, um, if you don't have the patience to, then go out and buy yourself a scoby. You could get it on Etsy. I know for sure you could get it on Etsy because I've seen it. Um, I wouldn't do eBay, but I would do Etsy for sure. Get yourself a nice scoby, or if you have a friend that has scoby, ask them, say, can I have a little bit of scoby? I'm sure she's going to give it to you free of charge, because they're not cheap if you buy them online. But there you go. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how easy it is to bottle the kombucha. Uh, this is going to be my second ferment, and this is going to be done in a few days to a week, depending, again, how, fu how fuzzy I want it. Uh, and if you find your cap starts swelling up on you because you, you're not getting to it fast enough, just burp it. Be careful that you don't blow it up. Um, or uh, in a week, just take them. If you like the taste of the tartness, like open one up, then refrigerate them. And this way, they'll stay in the refrigerator and they won't over ferment to the point where it's just like you're drinking vinegar. Um, but that's not the end of the world either because I have made... Uh, vinegar out of my kombucha I have plenty of vinegar and it is really good you could put them in salads you could put them in cooking there's so many things you could do also with the vinegar if it gets too tart on you I've had it happen where you know I have too many too much kombucha I bottle some the rest is just like I can't keep up with it so that's it I just want to say I love you and thank you for always coming to my channel and don't forget, guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go onto my main page on YouTube, and there's a little bell. If you click on it, uh, you're going to be notified every time I put up a video for you. And uh, there's some Amazon links also under the description of the video. You don't have to buy those products, but if you do a little bit of shopping on Amazon, if you go through my links, it really helps to support because I get a tiny, tiny percentage if you go through those links. So I'm going to say thank you, I love you, and I'll see you in my next video.
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.